Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jay Rome, and I'm back with another quick FL Studio tip for you guys. Today's is about automation clips, and sometimes when you use automation, you delete the automation clip, but your knob or your automation still moves, and it's still there even though you got rid of it. And a quick way to get rid of it is a click of one button. I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I have a volume automation on one of this uh, one of these pads real quick. And it's automating the volume. So let's get rid of it. And it jumps back up to full volume, but I want it to stay negative eight dBs, let's say. Now let's hit play. It keeps jumping back up for some reason, right? No matter what you do. So what you do is you right click and you click initialize with the song position. And now when you hit play, it stays exactly where you want the level. Now let's say you did that and you hate it and you want it to go back up to 100%, for example. Now it drops back down again. Let's say you want to get rid of that. It's easy, you go up to your current project, patterns, initialize controls, and then you delete what you just did. And then when you hit play, let's go back up to 100, it stays there. Hope this helped you guys, we'll see you on the next one.